is on very rare occasions I tell you to install an add-on, but you might want to check out Bagapie. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I've heard a lot of good things about this over on Discord, there's one user who says it's the best thing since sliced bread, so we're going to take it for a very quick spin. Now the developer has released it for free, you're more than welcome to download it, I'll leave a link in the description down below, and check out the developer's webpage, he's an absolutely fantastic artist. You can actually see why he made this add-on, it just helps big time. Now just to give you a very brief overview, Bagapie is a free add-on that creates modifier presets, geometry nodes for Blender 2.9. It creates presets for scattering, hard surface, deformation architecture, array random in groups, and it's just a very nice bunch of tools to be honest. So let's just quickly put it through its paces and let's jump into Blender. So what I have here is three rocks and a plane that's been subdivided, because I would like to use a scatter paint, so I need a little bit of topology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these three rocks, then my target object, and I'll use the shortcut key, which is the J key. And you can see here, it brings up the pie menu, hence bag of pie. Now there's several different options here. You have scatter, scatter paint, you can do a little bit of displacement. You have a very nice array tool, which is just a godsend, it just comes in so handy. You can manage groups, you can do a little bit of architecture, so if you have like a wall, you can extrude it, you can insert windows. Very basic, but it works. You have a nice boolean tool, it just kind of reminds me of Carver a little bit, very simplified version, and you can auto array on a curve. Now, if this had mirroring options, oh, it would be perfect, it would be absolutely perfect. I'm going to use the scatter paint and we'll take a quick look at what it actually does. Now you can see here I have a dialog box in the bottom left hand side, but I'm just going to quickly paint on the mesh. And it's using a weight map, obviously. And what I can do here is I can go to the properties on the right hand side and we can change the density up. So we'll put this up and we'll put the distance down. And there we go, we start to get different rocks. Now we have things like random rotation, we can play around with the rotation and stuff like this. It's essentially using geometry nodes to kind of build out the scatter. It's pretty good. You can see here we have a few options to remove, clean paint, invert, stuff like this. Perfect. Now, let's quickly drop this tool, we'll go back into object mode. I'll select these three rocks again, and we'll just use the scatter tool. I'll press J to bring up the shortcut, let's go to scatter. Let's put up these options, let's put up the density right up, and let's put the distance right down. Perfect, check this out. And you have a whole bunch of very nice options here, just to kind of change the way that the scene looks. You can randomize, you can change the position, you can change rotation, and it gives you pretty much most of the options to do a very nice scattering or instance effect. Now, the thing that I really like, let me just quickly start a new scene here. So we've got the default cube, we all love the default cube. I'll press J, I'll go to circle array, I'll bring up the dialog box here, I'll put the radius up. <sighs> How can this not be native, man? Obviously, I can change things like the count, I can do rotation, I can change things like the minimum and maximum. There is an align to center, so if I want to multi-face in one direction, perfect. Let's put this back up to one. You can change the random seed as well. Epic. And what you can also do is you can then select that. Let's array it again. Let's do another circle array. Let's put the radius up again. Easy, so easy. And this is pretty much the whole point of Bagapie. It's just to give you a little bit of basic functionality. For example, if you press J, and we'll just do a difference, you can see here it brings up a grid. Let's go here. Let's just draw something here. There we go. Nice and easy. And of course, you can array on a curve. There are some other options for doing architecture stuff. Absolutely fantastic add-on. Do me a favour, guys. Please support third-party developers. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.